Thank you for joining us again. My name is Chris Meckley from ACI Aquaculture. This episode, we are going to be shooting on different types of encrusting montiporus. There are so many different species that are considered encrusting montiporus, and of course, you have your plating and you know, kind of in betweens. But encrusting is what we want is what we want to go with. Montiporus, uh, in our opinion, here at ACI, are one of the fastest growing and easiest to maintain of the SPS corals. We maintain our SPS corals under moderate light. Uh, we run about 700 watts over an eight foot by four foot tank, but we do use ATI Blue Plus, which is a very high par blue bulb. They grow very fast and they look spectacular, as you will see in this video. So one of the things that um, is, uh, needs to be taken into consideration when you're thinking about Montiporas or SPS in general, they do require more of a, uh, not an expert care level, but they require an experienced hobbyist to, to be able to maintain them and grow them and to keep them happy and healthy. Of course, the main reason you want a Montipore in your aquarium is because they are vibrant, they are beautiful. And one of the ways to maintain and keep vibrant, healthy, beautiful Montipores is to get, a, to get a good balance between the light, the nutrients, and of course, water quality, and very, very important on any SPS coral, especially Montipores, is the water flow. Gotta have good, moderate to heavy alternating water flow over, the, over these corals. Uh, one of the things also that is very important is keeping your water chemistry stable, consistent. One of the things you can do to do that is either a calcium reactor, do a continuous caulk drip. We have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Montipora frags growing in our system. We have to do a continuous caulk drip. We use a 33 gallon drum and we drip it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it still is a hard time keeping the alkalinity and the calcium buff to where we need it to stay for these corals to grow and maintain their growth and color. The ATI Blue Plus bulbs that we use with the high flow and the high quality salt and maintaining the system's water parameters, we keep our alkalinity at 8.3. We keep our calcium around 390 to 400. Our magnesium stays around 13 to 1350. Uh, there's a lot of other elements that are very important. One that keeps the reds and the blues popping is potassium. Most people overlook it. There's potassium test kits out there for you. Salifert just came out with one. I recommend anybody that wants to keep their SPS red and blue, go get that, start dosing some potassium. It will help them tremendously. One of the, th another thing that is very important with with Montes, I recommend you quarantine your Montes no matter where you buy them from. There is a particular pest called a Montipora eating nudibranch. We battle them constantly. We do everything we can to keep them under control. They go away, they come back. They go away, they come back. We use a, a dipping method in here that really works well. We haven't seen them in months. I'm gonna knock on wood when I find some, but it's something that we are very vigilant with is weekly dipping of the Montipora frags, freshly cut or grown out. They get dipped, they get scrubbed with a toothbrush to make sure that we get the eggs. That is a big problem and it can really take over an entire aquarium that has Montiporas in it very quickly and decimate the population of Montipora in your aquarium. It'll cause them to just be white skeletons that appear and you can't even find anything on them. You look underneath the coral, there's nudies underneath there hiding during the day, they're feeding at nighttime. Like I said, dip your corals, quarantine your corals before they go into the aquarium. Any SPS tank, in my opinion, should have multiple types of rashes available in it to maintain and clean up parasites like the nudies. Six line rashes, uh, opossum rashes, melanuris rashes, eight line rashes, four line rashes, there's a lot of different rashes you can put in there. The more types of rashes you have in there to help take care of pest control, the better off your, your Montipores are gonna do and grow over a period of time. It is something that is very easy to maintain as long as you have the proper tools and the proper fish to maintain the system. Bottom line, Montipores can be one of the easiest SPS calls that you can put in your aquarium. You need to be consistent with your water quality, your light, if you're using T5s, change them out every nine months. If you're using metal halides, 20Ks every nine months. LEDs, nobody's proven on how long they actually truly throw off the spectrum, so that's up to you to see how good they look under those, under those lights 
for how long you have them under, you know, for, for the term that you have them under, under that light. Um, I know that it's been proven for me that the ATI Blue Plus color the coral up very well and they grow extremely fast. We, in here, we use a pretty much a method that has not been proven by the aquarium trade, but it talked about in the aquarium trade. We use the insecticide called Bear for our dips for our month in nudibranchs. It's what we have found that works really well, does not harm the coral, but does kill every nudie and every other critter that could possibly be on the coral. Again, you don't have to do what I say works for us. I recommend you work with the local fish store and use the product that they recommend or use what you have found to work well for you to maintain and to dip, to quarantine the animal before it goes into your aquarium. Especially if you have other Montes in your aquarium, even though you might know the source that it came from, you can't risk it. We found that out. I found it out the hard way. I wouldn't like the hobbyist to find out the hard way because all it does is discourage you from wanting to keep your aquarium going and that's the last thing we want. We all love this industry. We all want to have a sustainable industry. Buying aquacultured Montes is of course the best way to go, but sometimes you find that gem that came in from the wild that you have to have. Make sure you quarantine it, dip it, quarantine it before it goes into your aquarium. That way it reduces the chances of you having the plague of Montepores, the nudibranch, to get into your system and wreak havoc.